Today, while testifying to Congress, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said that the Federal Reserve intends to begin raising interest rates at the March FOMC meeting, and in his view, he believes a 25 basis point hike in the federal funds rate is reasonable. Let's listen in to what he had to say. What are your thoughts going into the March meeting? The March meeting. <clears throat> okay, so here's how, here's how I'm thinking about the March meeting. And I guess I would start, of course, with the U.S. economy, which is very strong, the labor market extremely tight, and inflation running well above target. Um, the way we think about our work is we develop working plans for making adjustments to monetary policy <clears throat> over the course of the coming months, and then we are flexible as plans meet the real world. So we're never on autopilot, obviously, uh, and at a time like this, what we aim to do is lay out our principles and then with whatever clarity we do have and then proceed to implement them, those policies carefully and nimbly. So coming into this meeting, let's say before the Ukraine uh, uh, invasion, the committee was set to raise our policy rate, the first of what was to be a series of uh, raise, raises expected for this year. Every meeting was live. Decisions would be based on incoming data and the evolving outlook. I also expected we'd make great progress on our plan to begin to shrink the balance sheet. And so the question now really is, how the invasion of Ukraine, the ongoing war, the response from nations around the world, including sanctions, may have changed that expectation. And so uh, it's too soon to say for sure, but for now, I would say that we will proceed carefully along the lines of, of that plan. The, the thing is, the, the economic effects <clears throat> of these events are highly uncertain. So far, we've seen energy prices move up uh, further, and those increases will move through the economy and push up headline inflation, and also they're going to weigh on spending. We've, we're seeing effects on, on other commodities uh, and perhaps from declining risk sentiment and weak, weaker growth abroad. The thing is, we, we can't know how large or persistent those effects will be. That simply defends, depends on events to come. So this is where that leaves me. I do think it will be appropriate to raise our target range for the federal funds rate at the March meeting in a couple of weeks, and I'm inclined to propose and support a 25 basis point rate hike. Following his comments, Powell was asked if he expects the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates by an even greater amount in the future. According to Powell, that scenario is still on the table for future FOMC meetings and the committee will make decisions based on the economic data they have at the time. In light of the current situation in Ukraine, Powell said that the economic impacts are too uncertain at this point and when specifically asked about rising energy prices, he reiterated that the total impacts of the crisis are still too uncertain and too speculative for him to comment on right now. Powell said he expects inflation overall to decrease throughout the rest of 2022, and when asked about shrinking the Fed's balance sheet, Powell stated that the FOMC will make progress on this matter at the March meeting, but he does not expect an announcement about shrinking the Fed's balance sheet to be made until sometime after the March FOMC meeting. And that does it for this video. Please leave a like on this video so we can get this information out to as many people as possible. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps us out tremendously. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video.